We know this time around for many Georgia voters, the stakes feel higher than ever, right? With the governor's office and control of the U.S. Senate on the ballot. But there are some other big races on the ballot tied to major issues like health care, schools and of course crime. Here's 11 Live's Ariana Manise with a look at those races. Georgia voters have big choices to make on Election Day as top state offices are on the ballot. Like who will be the next lieutenant governor? Democrat Charles Bailey, Republican Burt Jones, and Libertarian Ryan Graham are hoping to win. Bailey believes Georgia's six-week abortion ban is an infringement on women's rights, supports Medicaid expansion, law enforcement, and teacher pay raises. Jones supports the state's abortion ban, supports stringing penalties for repeat offenders, and believes in banning critical race theory. It's important to note Jones, a 2020 election denier, is currently under criminal investigation for serving as a fake elector. Voters will also weigh in on Georgia's attorney general, the state's top lawyer. Republican incumbent Chris Carr defended the state's abortion law and won 16 lawsuits filed by former President Trump and allies over the 2020 election. Carr also established a statewide opioid task force and the Georgia Anti-Network. State Senator Jen Jordan opposes the state's abortion ban, and she said she would not defend the law in court as she believes it violates the state's constitutional privacy clause. She hopes to fight voter suppression and wants to strengthen the affordable health care access and supports criminal justice reform at every level. The state superintendent is also on the ballot. We have Republican incumbent Richard Woods and Democrat Alicia Thomas Searcy competing in that race. We have a detailed breakdown of both candidates online for you right now on 11alive.com. To make sure you are prepared to vote, be sure to check out the election guide for you. It has everything you need to know before you cast your ballot. And our election day coverage will continue all day long for you. You can watch live results pour in with us tonight on 11 Alive News Primetime that kicks off at 7 p.m. right as the polls close over on our sister station, the ATL. NBC News will begin national coverage at 8 right here on 11 Alive. And of course, join us back here at 11 for 11 Alive News for a look at extended local races. NBC News will then pick back up for you at midnight.